guys, welcome back to my channel for today's video. I wanted to share some fun and inexpensive DIY projects with you. In a few days, I will be hosting a very small bridal shower for a coworker. Uh, we're actually gonna surprise her. She recently got hitched and she didn't do any celebration or party, so um, a few of my other coworkers, we thought it'd be nice to do something for her. So I am gonna be making some decorations and um, putting some things together. So I wanted to share some of my ideas with you. What I'll be putting together is a party banner. I'm also going to create a small chalkboard where we could write a very nice message for her and also put together a small uh, cupcake centerpiece. So I do have some thrifted items and some supplies from the dollar store. So I'll share with you what I'll be working with. To start our DIY project, I did pick up some supplies from the Dollar Tree. So the first item that I have is this Craft Glue by Aleens. Uh, this brand in particular, you could actually pick up at most craft stores. And uh, for this size, it's normally about $2. So I was really excited to pick it up for only a dollar. The next item I have is this white ribbon. Um, I always pick up ribbon from the floral section. They have so many different colors and varieties. So at the Dollar Tree, they currently have tons and tons of Valentine's Day products out. Um, I was actually hoping they would have something like this in store, so I was very happy to find it. So these are paper doilies. There's 30 pieces, and I'll be using this to decorate the banners with. So the next thing I have are these file folders. Um, I was actually in search of some craft paper in the store, but I wasn't happy with the selection that they had. And I came across these file folders and I thought the design were super cute. And it comes with three pieces and it's definitely going to be more than enough to make a couple banners. So to complete this DIY project, you are going to need some tools and a lot of these items I'm sure you already have at home. Um, so first I have my hole punch, pen, ruler, scissor, and hot glue gun. So for the chalkboard, I have this thrifted frame. It's a wooden frame and is in great condition. I picked it up during the summertime at the Goodwill outlet. It's made of solid wood and I was originally planning to paint it, but then I decided just to leave it as is. Um, I think the gold is really pretty and after using it for the bridal shower I know I can um, put it somewhere in my house and it'll fit into my decor. Since the thrifted frame doesn't have a back piece I did go to the Dollar Tree and picked up this 8x10 frame. I'm gonna be using some of the pieces uh, to complete the board. So for the chalkboard, I picked up this Krylon paint. Um, I picked this up at Fred Meyer for $4.99. It's going to be my first time using this, so I'm actually really excited to see how it turns out. Now to set my cupcakes in, I have this gorgeous metal tray that I thrifted at the Goodwill outlet. Um, I thought it'd be great as a centerpiece. I said the first thing we're going to be working on is creating the party banner. So what I'm going to do is cut out some triangle shapes with this paper. And I made a party banner before. Um, I did a K-pop party banner that I made for my niece. I'll link that video down below. But basically that's what I'm going to be doing. And um, I am going to measure it out so it all looks the same. A simple way to make sure that your flags are all the same is just basically decide how long you want your base to be. So this is going to be three inches. So I just used my ruler and then marked it every three inches on top and I did the same on the bottom. So once I'm done marking it, I connect it on opposite angles. And I'll continue doing that and uh, once I'm done drawing and lining it, um, I'll be able to cut it out and all my banners will be the same size.
that all my little flags are cut out, I am going to put some small details on it. And I'm going to utilize this little doily paper that I picked up. So using the doily, I am going to use pieces of the heart to decorate the flag. So I'll be using the point like this. And then I'll be decorating some of the flags using this piece as well because I don't want to waste it. So um, what I'm going to do is just alternate. Um, so some will have this round shape and then some will have the little pointed shape. And just FYI guys, if you do use glues like this, you know how like um, some glues, they have this little top that can be removed and then you put it back on. But then when you go back to use it again, it's like stuck. So what I'd like to do is just, I just open the cap and I use like a little um, brush to apply the glue onto whatever I'm working on. Alrighty guys, so your flags should look something like this. Once you're done, you can go ahead and punch a couple holes on the top and then string them together. And then feel free to do whatever you like, really. Be creative, you can add more detail, you can bedazzle it, just have fun with it. Alrighty guys, so I'm all done punching the little holes. And the next thing, um, we need to do is just go ahead and string them up and stringing them up is pretty self-explanatory just put the ribbon through the loop and then it should look something like this so i am only going to make two so i'm going to uh, test it out and hang it up on um, the window and see how it looks Alrighty guys, so this is what it looks like. Uh, really cute and simple. I just really wanted uh, to do some soft colors. And also, you know how frugal I am. I, I'm definitely going to be using this for something else. Maybe in uh, one of my niece's birthday parties. So, Or if uh, my coworker wanted to take it home, she can too. That's totally fine. Because I have plenty of little flags to make tons and tons of these. Uh, so as you saw in the pile there. Alrighty, as you can see, I have tons left and I believe I actually have enough to make probably four more banners. And I just want to remind you, this costs less than $4 to make. So definitely um, do something like this. I know party banners, you can pick them up at the store and they can cost anywhere from five to $15. So this will save you tons of money. And this is a fun project too, if you um, have um, some kids that are a little bit older, your children or anything like that. This is something fun to do at home. And um, just from my experience, my nieces, uh, they love doing projects like this. So it's fun to um, make your own party decorations. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, stringing this up. And then we're going to get started on the second project. So our next project is the chalkboard. Um, so I have my frame here. And if you remember, I picked up a cheap frame from the Dollar Tree and I already took it apart. So I'm only going to be using the glass and this back piece. Uh, so this frame that I thrifted uh, is 8x10, so the glass does fit. And what I'm going to be doing is just spray paint it in the garage and then wait for it to dry and then put it together. So this is going to be my first time using this chalkboard paint. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how it'll turn out. Alrighty guys, so the paint has dried. It's been a few days, so I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the frame. Alrighty guys, so since this frame doesn't have a metal clasp to hold down the back piece, I'm going to go ahead and just hot glue the edges. So um, just that way it doesn't move around when you're writing on it. I'm going to reuse this back piece from the Dollar Tree frame. All 
Alrighty, so now that everything's nice and dry, just wanted to show you what it looks like. I thought it turned out really, really well. Um, I love the gold color against the black. So let's test it out with some chalk. The chalk that I ended up picking up was uh, from Daiso, and it was only a dollar and fifty cents, and it comes with thirty-six pieces. I really liked it because it came in various different colors so it's going to be more than enough than what i'll need but i'm sure i'll make use of this later in the future it worked guys <laughs> i'm really happy on how this turned out Alrighty guys, so I don't know if you remember this, I thrifted this um, the same time that I got the frame at the Goodwill outlet in Kent. And yeah, it was really inexpensive and it actually works out together. So I'm really happy on how this turned out. So the next thing we'll be working on is the cupcake display. So for my cupcake display, it's going to be a very simple centerpiece. Um, I'm just going to be placing about six cupcakes on top of this tray. And of course, it's going to be decorated. And I decided to do um, a simple table setting with cupcakes as well. Alrighty, so what I have here are some uh, thrifted teacups. I thrifted this at the Goodwill and they were selling them in sets uh, like this. And it was only 99 cents. So I only paid $5 for this, so I thought it was a really great deal. And these cups are actually really nice. So um, I see that it's made in Japan and the brand is Christine. I'm not familiar with, um, you know, things like China sets and things like that, but I just thought it was really cute and I really love the color. So what my plan is to place an individual cupcake in the cup and decorate it. So it's going to be a very simple and cute um table setting so I'll share with you um, once I'm done alrighty guys so this is the cupcake mix that I'll be using I am going to be cheating and um, but you know uh, what makes the cupcake is going to be the icing which I will be making from scratch I'm going to make a simple cream cheese icing and I'll be decorating the cupcakes as well so I'll share with you what I picked up Alrighty guys, so this is what I picked up to decorate the cupcakes with. I have white fudge pretzels and whoppers. So one of my favorite things to do is decorate with things that you can actually eat. So it's going to be very simple, but um, I'm sure it'll turn out really cute. Ready now that I'm all done, I'm going to go ahead and start making the icing for the cupcakes. Alrighty, so uh, for my frosting, I have uh, two cups of powdered sugar, a stick of butter, and about eight ounces of cream cheese and a tablespoon of vanilla. Yeah, so that's basically it and just mix it all together. So I'm all done and you're probably wondering how my icing changed color. I did add a little bit of blue in there and I used this Spice Supreme. This was actually from the Dollar Tree. Again, it was only a buck. And yeah, so if you ever purchase food color at the grocery store, you know it's about 4 to $5 for a pack like this. So yeah, so this was such a great deal. To help me decorate my cupcakes, I will be placing my icing in some piping bags. Um, this is only $1.50 and it's a great deal because it comes with 16 and it even came with these pieces here. So if you love baking and decorating, I recommend picking this up. Now to decorate my cupcakes for the table setting, I just simply put it in the teacup here and I'm going to start uh, putting some icing on top of it. So for my topping, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to put my little pretzel here and a Whopper right there. Alrighty guys, so that's basically a very simple and I think it looks cute. For the cupcake display, I'm going to go ahead and decorate identically to the one here.
sad. Surprise! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> She was planning to murder you. <laughs> yeah. Happy bridal shower! Happy bridal shower! <laughs>